Welcome back. Now, recently we have the short series, but I just had to hop on and add an additional video because there is so much new in Zoom and it's very exciting. So I'm going to show you around. And I'm actually recording in Zoom right now with this immersive view. I'm not needing to do a screen recording. So it's very exciting. And just as I've said before, if there's something that you wish Zoom would do, it might be coming because they just keep getting better and better and better and add all of our wish lists. Um, it's just always a matter of time. Thanks for joining me. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. So let's look around. I'm going to share screen so that I can share all of the options at the bottom. Now, when you share screen, it does stop the immersive view. Um, so I have my floating bar here. I'll just move it off to the side for now. We have the new apps. If you recently um, watched a couple videos, um, or maybe there's one coming up with a tutorial step by step. But recently, I took a first look uh, at this apps and there are some fun games i played some with some colleagues and that um, more on that in the future but in reactions it's so wonderful we now have this coffee cup or teacup if you're a tea drinker and it just shows i'm away which is really helpful if you're creating breakout rooms, especially in pairs, and you know a couple people have stepped away, you can then accommodate that if you're doing the production of uh, a learning event or if as a facilitator you're taking care of both things, perhaps during, the tricky part is if you're doing that during a break, because um, everyone might be putting that on that they're away. But if you are creating something while, um, or having a partner co-host create the breakout rooms while you're uh, covering your content and everyone is there, except for a couple people have had to step away, you then know that with this I'm away, which is wonderful. And then you just click that again and it goes um, back. So with the I'm away and participants, you'll see that in the participant panel as well. Super, super exciting. So I will put myself as back. And in chat now, are there some times where you just want to put a happy face or a thumbs up in the chat, not just in your video tile? Now we have this little emoji symbol right here. So we can do the, you know, the smile or um, a star and you can also just keep scrolling down you can do some um you know the thumbs up symbol whatever you want now i'm not sure if i change my let's just take a look here and we'll test this out in real time now i've put my reaction skin tone back to yellow because the original emoji color because it often doesn't show up very well on my um, on my video background unless I go back to that because when I've changed it to a different uh, skin tone, it's um, you know it's it's hard to then see it. So let's just test that out. What I mean. So for you know a lot of people, it's hard to see. But I'm wondering if that makes any impact on i think it might yes it changes it here too um so you know to note that as well which is wonderful uh to be inclusive as well so that is something to note so emojis in chat the new reactions step away apps there'll be more on that coming up and let me see. I know there's two other things that I'm going to, I'm looking into more, which is really wonderful. The ability to set up a follow up survey right after the meeting for it to open up a link 
as people end and leave the meeting that the survey pops up right away and you can use your third party survey or one in zoom it even includes um, options for a long answer, not just pick your choice, and a scale uh, too. So I'm really excited about that, looking into it, about making sure that it's working, and then a future tutorial will be about that too. So definitely subscribe if you want to check out some of those videos. Um, and I'm super excited about this, looking into it with Zoom, because I, I see it in their instructions um, and in their their information on their website, but I don't see it yet in my account, the ability to add a video into the waiting room. So I'm super excited about that as well. I've been hearing some things also about some potential options in breakout rooms that are coming. And um, also in those apps, there's even some other recording options that I'm gonna be checking out um, in more detail today as well for potentially easy options in breakout rooms, because in breakout rooms, it'd be nice to have, be able to record, for example, role plays and be able to have a quick, easy playback. You definitely can do that if you have a leader in there um, and record just in Zoom. You just have to know how, you know, you find it in documents and, and share it. But I'm always thinking about the facilitation context and whether your participants or other fellow facilitators or leaders are tech savvy or not, how much to teach and show, have in navigation slides, and how much can make things easier. It's all about that user-friendly experience, learner-friendly friendly experience, um, and learner-centered, participant-centered uh, focused when we're looking at the learning experience design and uh, steps to take. Think about ahead of time before your learning experience, workshop, workplace training, um, during and after. So all the videos here on this channel give you a variety of tips and tools about multimedia, technology, on online platforms, um, a lot about Zoom, Canva, other tools that can help facilitate engagement potentially, and to consider the different learning needs of your audience to turn them into participants. If this, if you like this information, if it's helpful to you, I appreciate knowing that by giving a thumbs up. It helps me know which videos I should be uh, and topics I should be focusing on for this channel going forward. So definitely your feedback does help and it does steer the direction of this channel. I do have some other requests uh, of tutorials coming down uh, the pipes in the future and quick tips videos as well as shorts series where it's one minute videos. I have some discoveries about that too. So options on how do you create engaging experiences in particular online um, and i look forward to seeing you again soon thanks for joining this bonus video to find out some exciting new options so when you stop share you go right back into your immersive view or when you come back from breakout rooms you go back into the scene that you want so you could always change that if you're staying in the main room you can change the immersive view you can also upload your own i will be playing um, and testing that out as well. So it does still give the share uh, the square experience. So if you're a little bit further back, it's not cutting off your arms. And uh, there's so many tips and discoveries coming up. Really excited to have shared the new Zoom options with you today. And um, at that point, I'm going to put my go away. Um, although I'm not seeing that in the immersive view, so that's good to know too. And, but if I open up my, my participant panel and click that on, oh, it does pop up on the screen as well. So I'm gonna go off and have a tea break right now. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Patricia. Until next time, I hope that you have some light bulb learning moments.